Paul Pope, and uh, this is my studio in Brooklyn, uh, where I make the magic. <laughs> I grew up in a, you know, kind of a rural place. I didn't see the ocean till I was seven or eight. So, you know, I was one of those kids who like was able to dream about, like the distances. Uh, I mean, it was pretty great though, because we had you know big winters, and you know in the summertime, you know, great memories of like you know hearing the train in the distance or cicadas in the trees, you know. But I was alone a lot as a kid, and kind of like a latchkey kid. So comics were a form of entertainment and companionship for me. I loved Picasso as a kid and M.C. Escher, and um, I inherited a stack of comic books from my uncle, like Silver Age stuff, you know, like Captain America and Spider-Man, all the things that are coming in the movies now. And then from my dad, I inherited a record collection. So I had like a lot of like '60s stuff, you know, like old beat-up LPs of like Rod Stewart and. Rolling Stones. So, you know, somehow be between the two, that's kind of where I got a sense of like what I could expect for adulthood, you know, <laughs> somewhere between comic books and, you know, rock and roll. So I like adventure stories. Like, I love Jack London, uh, Bret Hart, Stephen Crane. Um, I love uh, Steinbeck. Uh, Mark Twain's one of my favorite writers. You know, um, I was huge into Voltaire and Diderot for a while and in school, got really into like French Enlightenment era. You know, Justine and um, Camille and, you know, Dr. Pangloss and all that stuff, Rabelais. Like, I like the, 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 the notion of like man versus nature, those types of stories, you know, like the how's a man going to scale the mountain, you know, that type of stuff. How's he going to light a fire with, you know, one match. I mean, I love rock and roll. I, I listen to it, you know, Motorhead, The Cult, The Hypnotics, Stones, all these guys. I like Alice Coltrane a lot, listen to a lot of jazz, and uh, soundtracks as well, you know, kind of instrumental stuff. When I'm working, I normally do listen to music. You know, I try to be conscientious of the neighbors, so I usually have headphones on. Uh, but I do work in silence as well. There's a real meditation in working in silence. And um, I, I do find that your internal monologue changes when you don't have anything to listen to except the ambient noise of, you know, the plane outside or the... the you know, the, the wind and the trees and that kind of thing. The blank page is like an infinite well. You can always discover new things. Like there's no bottom to a blank page. And, and that is a really interesting thing, you know, because there's a certain kind of a, a exploration to it. And I, I, I know some artists say that they're, you know, they, they get sort of terrorized to see the blank page. Like to me, I just see it as a, a endless landscape, you know. Well, I mean, this is, this is my workspace. This is where I do all my stuff. And uh, it looks like a shambolic mess, but it's actually organized. And, um, you know, I, because I'm left-handed, I always want to sit in such a way that the light has the right accent for the right time of day when I'm working. You know, because I, I need the light to kind of fall this way, so I'm not blocking my own light. So that's the primary interest. I know Salvador Dali said that he could only work if his back was against the wall, but I'm the opposite. I need to know my books are behind me, you know, sort of like backing me up, you know. And then they're all organized in terms of, well, they're a little bit messy right now because I've been doing a lot of research for um, Battling Boy. I have different, like right now it's pretty much just stacks on the floor because I need to get shelving. But um, probably, if anything, this mess represents uh, sort of a practical and busy artist, you know, like I don't have time to get bookshelves right now. And, you know, it's easier just to, I know where the stuff is. I don't need to have it alphabetic, alphabetically organized or anything. This is where all my artwork is. Here's Battling Boy. All of this is Battling Boy. And then uh, other projects and, you know, either things in development or things I finished are down here in this stack. And I've got another one of these in the other room. I have a real ambivalent relationship with the computer and with digital technology in general, so I always keep the computer lower than the drawing table, just so it knows who's in charge. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's really messy. The ceiling's falling in, and fan's broken. 